one of the, the things about the Highland Center is it encompasses so many of the, the interests and activities that take place here in, in the county. It certainly touches on the arts, it touches on economic development with the new businesses that have opened up in here. Um, it's, it's a place where people can come and, and be more informed about the community and what we have to offer. Our Chamber of Commerce is there, uh, our seniors are there. There are lots of, of important elements there right now for the whole community. We are becoming actually a place where people come to research us to develop their own community center. I think the building itself is a great um, kind of microcosm of what it's like to be involved in economic development in a rural community. So we come together, we share resources, and we really think of ourselves in terms of community first and then look at what fits the community and take advantage of those opportunities to do economic development. We've taken that approach to look at the natural assets that are here, to look at what our strengths are, whether it's through the scenic beauty, through agriculture, and try to bring projects forward that combine those things. Coming down the pike that the Highland Center has done for us is they, they've spearheaded the development of the Ag Center. And I think the Ag Center is a very exciting project. They're going to potentially give uh, entrepreneurs in the area the ability to brand their own products, um, either cattle, sheep, swine, whatever they want to do. I mean, it's going to be up to them to develop their brands, market their brands, and all the way along the line, you're going to have the Highland Center being able to help them develop that. I took a class called next level entrepreneurship or something like that and um, that helps you write a business plan and everything and and through that program and also needing a place to make our marinade we started making the marinade in the kitchen at the center and and was bottling our stuff ourselves but besides that they also had a printer that i was able to design and and um, start printing lab our own labels and then I have proceeded to then sell it at the farmer's market. Another thing that has really helped me is the resources that are available in the building to tenants. Things like the library that's available here through the center, AV materials, the copying available, computer programming. It's just a really a full service place that that has been indispensable. Since I've been here at the Highland Center, whether it's a farmer's market day or Taste of Highland or whatever that attracts people to the Highland Center, we've had our doors open and people have been able to come in but I've got a whole lot more exposure being here at the Highland Center and having a nice place to demonstrate to people what I've been working on. It's really wonderful that the Highland Center is able to be the fiscal agent for the Allegheny Mountain School. It seems like a, a perfect partnership. The fellows that are here now, they've come for a six month period to study sustainable agriculture and when they leave here, they will go on to jobs in a larger communities where they will then work for a year teaching others how to grow food. And they'll help to set up community gardens and teach others about good nutrition and spread the joy and the importance of growing your own food. We've got a great artistic community that is headquartered out of here. It's become a cultural mecca for the county because when things happen, they happen here and people are now comfortable with the fact that it's not the old high school, it's the Highland Center and it's taken on its own place in the community. I feel like it kind of gives hope to bringing in things that I would love to see here. Things that I enjoyed from other places that I think would make it more enjoyable to live here and attract more people our age to live here. We really have developed quite a little artist community within the building in terms of the strings um, program and classes and the ballet and, and the art and using it for different classes. For example, the Quilters Weekend where about 100 quilters from around the state were here in the building. 
One of the most exciting things, I think, is to think about the retreat conference area. Three of the rooms um, on the right-hand side as you walk into the building that are classrooms now will be um, made into one big space and also have breakout space available. The opportunity for small conferences, I think, is absolutely limitless because uh, small groups wanting a breakaway session from the uh, larger urban areas. I know that when I was with Montpelier, I did a lot of conference planning, and one of the first things that you look for is a place that people would like to go and spend a weekend. And occasionally they'll peel off and want to live here, and, um, and that's I, how I can really see moving forward with um, growing our population and developing. I think anytime you bring uh, a group of people into this community from outside the community, you have an opportunity of making use of lodging, restaurants, shops. You will certainly add to the local economy. The appeal of the facility physically uh, and, and flexibility-wise has a great deal to do with whether or not you're able to, to draw in a crowd in terms of, of the use of the facility. So anything that can be done in, uh, in regard to upgrading uh, both the quality of the building, the, the exterior, the aesthetics of the building, uh, or the functionality of the building, uh, just leads you down the right path in terms of being able to promote and attract uh, those kind of opportunities. I believe very strongly in adaptive reuse of buildings, uh, that we have some so much character in these older buildings that recycling should not be restricted just to plastic water bottles, but we should think about the buildings that we have and what we can do, especially when they are as iconic as this building is to the county and to so many people that have passed through these doors and to try to get a building to do what this building is already doing would be far more than the cost of uh, just renovating the building at hand. In addition to having um, certainly more, I think, usable space as far as attracting people to come here, the tenants of the building should be so much more comfortable having um, actually zones with the heating systems, um, upgrades to the plumbing so we don't deal with leaks all the time, additional infrastructure that will be done on the outside of the building. And the building doesn't have accommodations for uh, handicap and elderly access that will be part of the, the improvements to the building. Uh, we'd like to be able to make better use of the great spaces that we have. We have a, a huge auditorium where plays are performed, but it's uh, very echoey uh, and we'd like to improve that so that performances of a lot of different kinds can be held there. Everybody should stop and envision this place, see exactly what it's going to look like in five years with that fresh coat of paint and brimming with people and, and a hub of activity in the community. Uh, I think it's very exciting. We had a really wise person who told us that the important thing in, in a building was not the structure itself, but the ideas that came from the structure. Here in this small community where we all are able to work as one instead of going off in all kind of different directions and kind of spinning our wheels, we're able to put all our efforts to try to focus and make something happen and the results are showing up now. I think we're going to see a lot more in the future. Whether it be federal, state, local, or even private foundations, one of the first things they ask you is how much support you have from your own community. Um, because if you don't have support from your own community, why should they be supporting you? Um, so it's really critical that we have um, individuals within Highland County um, step up and say, we support this project. I know during these tough economic times, the challenge of trying to put together a four million, over a $4 million renovation and upgrading capital campaign is a challenging item. Uh, but I can assure you, the Highland Center will be part of the 21st century of Highland County, whether it's promoting tourism, whether it's making sure that we've got sustainable agriculture, whether it's recognizing that we've got to make sure there's broadband opportunities. The Highland Center is that kind of public-private partnership. 
that will make that possible. I look forward to writing a check as well, and I urge all my friends in Highland County to be supportive of the Highland Center.